Hey guys, Jake here. As you guys know, I've been playing Rage 2, and I kinda was thinking I wanted to get a little more background on the developers here. So today I'm probably gonna cover one of the biggest uh, developers slash publishers uh, involved in Rage, and that is Bethesda. Uh, so to start off here, Bethesda was founded in 1985 by Christopher Weaver in Bethesda, Maryland. Who would have thought? Uh, 1986 they released their first game it was a sports simulation game and it was called gridiron uh, in 1990 they relocated to rockville maryland which is still their home today uh, from 1986 to 1992 says released a number of games including some terminator titles in there uh, 1993 says released their first elder scrolls game this one was called elder scrolls arena 1996, Bethesda released Elder Scrolls II, Daggerfall, and in 1999, Bethesda was acquired by Zenimax Inc. It's kind of funny because their founder was, Zenimax founder was Christopher Weaver and Robert Alt Altman. Christopher obviously founded Bethesda. On 1999 to 2001, Bethesda was hard at work. They were pumping out a variety of games, more sports simulation games and racing games. None uh, that really took off though. But in 2002, Bethesda released the third Elder Scrolls game, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. And this was for PC and now it was for Xbox as well. Morrowind was Bethesda's most successful title to date, which was compounded only by their two expansions, uh, Tribunal in 2002 and Blood Moon in 2003. Uh, in 2004, Bethesda buys the rights to the Fallout IP uh, from Interplay Entertainment and be, uh, begins development on Fallout 3. Right around here is when I start to really pick up on Bethesda's work. I went back and I bought Morrowind. Uh, to me personally, I played it on Xbox. It was a so so game. But in 2006, uh, Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion was published by 2K Games and that was released for 360, PS3, and PC. This game I played the heck out of. I loved Oblivion. Oblivion received the best reviews for an Elder Scrolls game to date. By the start of 2007, Oblivion sold over 3 million copies. Uh, 2007 also saw the founding of Escalation Studios in Dallas, Texas by Bethesda. 2008, Bethesda released uh, Fallout 3 for 360 PC, PC and PS3. Fallout 3 shipped 4.7 million copies the first week, making Bethesda 300 million. Uh, they also released five DLC packs followed in the following years. Operation Anchorage, The Pit, Broken Steel, Point Lookout, and Mothership Zeta. These, this was one of my favorite games. I remember in high school, I was playing this so much. It was such an expansive world. Uh, 2011, was the release of Skyrim. It also released three expansions in 2012, Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn. This is by far the prettiest game to date, in my opinion. And in 2012, Bethesda founded a studio called Battlecry in Austin, Texas. 2015, they saw the release of Fallout 4 and a mobile game called uh, Fallout Shelter. Bethesda in 2015 opened Bethesda Game Studios in Mont Montreal in Montreal, Quebec. They're creative there with their names. 2016 saw the release of six expansions for Fallout 4. Uh, Automatron, Wasteland Workshop, Far Harbor, uh, Vault Tech Workshop, Nuka World, and the Contraptions Workshop as well. 2016 also saw the beginning of Skyrim be imported to dang near everything. I don't know if you guys were paying attention to that. I'm sure you were. It got ported to everything, it seems. Uh, 2018, the release of Fallout 76 happens. This is, in my opinion, where Bethesda starts to go down some bad roads. This was not received very well by critics or gamers alike. And... Uh, still isn't today, but 2018 sees both Battlecry and Escalation Studios being rearranged as part of Bethesda Game Studios, so now it is all under one umbrella. Uh, 2019, 
is the first expansion for the Fallout 76 as well. It's called Wild Appalachia, uh, which this actually is making me get more interested in. Um, let me guys, let me know if you guys want me uh, to play this on one of my game nights. I'm actually, I'm really interested. I have not looked into that game. I haven't heard good things about it, uh, especially with microtransactions apparently coming pay to win mechanics, but I'm willing to give it a shot because I love Bethesda, as you guys probably know. And in 2019, they also re released the Elder Scrolls Blades for mobile. Now that's another one that I hear is, I have not played it personally, but I hear it is just riddled with microtransactions, uh, but I cannot say for sure until I play that myself. Um, for the future, uh, they do have Elder Scrolls 6 on the horizon. I hear it's not anytime soon coming out, but they also have Starfield in the works. But those do not have release dates. So that catches us up on everything that Bethesda has been working on. Like I said guys, Bethesda is one of my favorite game studios. I've liked them ever since Morrowind. Um, I would I play their games, I play Doom because they own id and whatnot, but these are some good good quality game makers over there at Bethesda. Alright guys, uh, let me know if I missed anything in the comments. Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you found this information helpful, uh, and I'll see you guys next time.